Tua Tagoviola. My friend, you're on the clock. It's up to you to deliver this year. You have to take a huge step in your development and prove to the Miami Dolphins that you can be a franchise quarterback. Your career may be on the line in terms of being a franchise quarterback. You have to take a huge step. There is a lot of pressure that has been put on you over these last two years. And the Miami Dolphins just added a whole bunch of pressure with the moves they just made so far in free agency. So it's up to you to prove yourself. It's up to you to deliver. And it's up to you to answer the call. You see, when it comes to Tua, he hasn't exactly had the great start a lot of people thought he would. I was one of the people that believed Tua could be a franchise quarterback. I never said he'd be a superstar quarterback, but I did say he could be a franchise guy. Somebody that could potentially lead an organization to a Super Bowl, or at least be that quarterback that helps them get to a Super Bowl. I thought he could potentially do that with the Dolphins if they can get him enough talent and he develops into that guy. Two years in, we have not seen that much from Tua that shows us that he can be that guy. We've seen flashes, but it hasn't been enough. Either Tua's been on the field and he hasn't shown that much, or he's been off the field dealing with some sort of injury. Either way, Tua has not shown us enough to say that he can be a franchise guy. But of course, he's young, it's only two seasons in. However, he's hitting that magical third season. I've always said it takes three to five years for a quarterback to develop into what he's going to be. But that third year is the most crucial year because that year three is where most quarterbacks start to put it together. Russell Wilson has talked about how his third season was where he really started to put it together. Same for Patrick Mahomes. And in fact, when you look at the AFC as a whole with all these elite young quarterbacks, it took them two to three years to get to where they needed to be. By Mahomes' second year, he started to show that he could play at a high level. Same for Lamar, same for Burrow. By year three, Allen was showing that. By year three, um, Deshaun Watson was showing that. Then you can argue year two as well. And then Herbert, in year two, he showed that as well. So all these young quarterbacks in this conference, it took them two to three seasons to show that they could be a franchise quarterback, they could play at a high level, and they can be an elite player in this game. They developed very quick, and it seems like that's the direction the league's taking. Kyler Murray's another person that you can mention when it comes to young quarterbacks that took that next step either in their second or third season. So it's taking two to three years for all these young quarterbacks right now to get to where they need to be, or at least to take that next step into showing that they can be a franchise guy. Tua, in the two seasons he's played, has not shown that. But year three, he has an opportunity, and boy, he's going to have to capitalize on that. Because the Miami Dolphins, what they've been doing over the last couple years has been rebuilding this team. And the talent they've been able to put on this roster, if you're a franchise guy, you got to be able to utilize this talent. When it comes to the defensive side, they've been building that up over the last two to three years. And if you've seen how deep on their defense played last year and the year before, you're seeing that this is a very young unit that can be very, very tough to deal with. They're fast, they're physical. And they are forcing turnovers and they are being a force in their conference. What the Miami Dolphins defense has been able to turn into over the last couple years is something great. And it's helped them improve to what they want to eventually become. Now you take a look what the Dolphins have been doing offensively in terms of bringing in pieces. Especially with the latest pieces they've put together offensively. And now you're looking at the team that can potentially compete in the playoffs if they have the right quarterback around them. I mean, just take a look at this. When we look at the receiving core, you got three great guys, Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. That might be arguably the best receiving duo in football. And they still have Devontae Parker here. Then you look at their running back duo with Chase Edmonds and Raheem Moster, who they just added. That's a nice running back duo there. And you still have Mike Gusecki as your tight end, who's very underrated, by the way. Look at the weapons they have on the Dolphins offense right now. Any franchise guy should be able to capitalize on this and utilize that talent. That is what Tua's going to have to show us. And Teddy Bridgewater's there as a backup. If Tua shows he can't be the guy, they'll put Teddy in. Also, next draft seems to be a draft where there's going to be a lot of talented quarterbacks coming in. You know, the quarterback class next year is so seemingly supposed to be better than the quarterback room of uh, quarterback class we're seeing this year, but we'll see. Because, you know, this season's, um, well, this draft's quarterback room isn't exactly, uh, or quarterback class. Why am I saying quarterback room? But this 
draft's quarterback class isn't exactly the best, and next season's supposed to be much better than this season, so if Tua shows he can't be the guy, it's possible they just go and pick up somebody from uh, the draft next year. So Tua, the pressure's on you. I've had faith that Tua could turn into that guy that can be a franchise guy, but we haven't seen that much from him. The number one thing Tua has to do is stay healthy. If he can't stay healthy, there's nothing he can do to prove himself. And with these weapons, if he's not able to deliver next year, and he's not able to win games for this team, it's going to be a bad look for him. And honestly, I think at that point, Miami's going to know that that's not their guy. You can't have this much talent for the next few years and not be able to capitalize on them. If you're a franchise guy, you got to be able to do so. So Tua has to take a huge step. Heading into his third season, it's year three. It's the magical year where a lot of quarterbacks start to put it together. You have to take that next step, especially in a conference where you see all these other young quarterbacks that were in your situation and took the next step in either their second or third season. If you don't take that next step, you're just not going to be that guy. It's as simple as that. So I wish two of the best of luck. But Miami as a unit, what they've been doing in the offseason has been fantastic. What they've done in free agency has been fantastic. For them to land Tyreek Hill, that is something spectacular. And the talent they have at that receiving room is, it's frightening. So... If Tua can live up to that expectations that many people have put on him and the pressure that is being put on him now that he has these specific weapons, if he can live up to that, if he can take that next step, I think Miami's a playoff team next year. If Tua can truly take that next step, they should be able to make the playoffs. But if he can't, then he's going to prove that he is not a franchise guy and Miami is going to move on from him. There's also another option, which I don't believe is going to happen, but I've been seeing all these rumors all over the place and Ravens vlog I'm talking specifically to you I've seen a couple of people message this to me about the possibility of that happening I don't think that's the case but a lot of people are looking at Lamar Jackson and they're seeing that there's no contract negotiations that have been happening or reports regarding any contract negotiation been happening we haven't seen any updates regarding that and you know he still does not have a, a long-term deal signed in with the Ravens so if it's a situation where they can't get that figured out, Lamar's from Miami, and they've got a talented roster. If Tua turns out to not be that guy, they could easily find a way to get Lamar to go to Miami, and he'll just go back home. It's very possible. Do I think that's going to happen? No. Do I believe Lamar is going to be the Ravens quarterback long term? Yes, I believe that will be the case. I'll be shocked if it doesn't happen, but I believe he's going to be in Baltimore for the near future. And for at least the next five to six years, I, I believe he's going to be here long term. But if that ends up not being the case and Tua ends up not being the guy and he fails to deliver and fails to prove that he can be a franchise guy, the next offseason, I could very well see a situation where if Lamar is not signed, Miami might go after him. And I would not be surprised with the talent they have right now, what they've been developing over the last couple of years, Lamar could go to Miami and that could be a really dangerous squad. But hopefully that doesn't end up happening, you know, especially for me as a Ravens fan. Anyway, Tua, you're on the clock, my man. You have to prove yourself. You have to prove you're a franchise guy. You have to prove you can be the franchise guy for the Miami Dolphins. And you have to take the next step in your development and show that you can be that guy. Whatever happens this season's on you, man. But with that being said, that is all I've got. And I'm out of here, man. Peace.